karibu katika kanisa takatifu katoliki la Holy Ghost Cathedral Mombasa. Hii ni parokia ya kwanza nchini Kenya iliyoanzishwa na mapadri wa Holy Ghost na kujengwa na Wafaransa mwaka wa elfu moja, mia tisa, ishirina, tatu. Mwaka wa elfu mbili na ishirina tatu, tutakuwa tunasherekia miaka mia moja ya katedrali hii ya kipekee. Hivyo basi, tunapo kamilisha mwaka huu, baraza la parukia yetu linachukua fursa hii kuwa shukuru wa umini wote kwa usaidizi wao wa dhati kwa kanisa hili. Okay. Kwa pamoja tumepiga hatua kubwa kupitia mchango kutoka kwa watu binafsi, majumuiya na mashirika mbalimbali ya kanisa hili letu. Kupitia michango hiyo tumeweza kufanya yafuatayo. Moja, tumeongeza samani yani furniture kwa nyumba za mapadri Pili, tumekarabati ofisi ya baba paroko. Tatu, tumerekebisha mabwawa ya maji machafu. Nne, tumejenga jiko lipia la nje. Tano, tumerekebisha ukumbi wa askofu. Na sita, tumeongeza maeneo ya kufanya mikutano. So for a long time we had uh, we have been having a problem in terms of meeting places for our parishioners, the employers, the associations, at the moment where they can be able to meet for their meetings. And we are coming up with sent places where they can be able to sit and meet the choir. And this is one of the places we have come up with. We have two more to come up and this is only about 85 percent complete. We have the sitting, it will occupy about 75 percent uh, people seated. So we thank the parishioners so much for helping us to come this far. And I'm sure once we are done with the two more that we are about to start, we will be able to ease the congestion of the meeting within the cadet. Thank you. Hi, my, na my name is Edna Wandera. I'm a member of the Development Com Committee Ministry and the chairperson of Young Catholic Adults. For many years here in Cathedral, we had challenge of a uh, place of cooking, but now we thank our parishioners that we have an outside modern kitchen which is 75% complete. Uh -huh. This is the big step in the right direction. Thank you very much. God bless you. Hivyo, 
Tunapokaribia kusherekea miaka moja itimi hapo mwaka wa 2023, awamu yetu ijayo inahitaji upana wa mawazo na malengo bora zaidi. Malengo hayo yamezingatiwa katika mapendekezo ya bajeti yetu ya mwaka wa 2022. Baraza la parokia limependekeza miradi ifuatayo. Kwanza, uboreshaji wa maeneo ya kuegesha magari, njia za magari kanisani, uwanja wetu wa mipira wa vikapu na uboreshaji wa mandhari yote kwa ujumla. We are now at the basket or court and uh, part of the infrastructure development around here is to renovate the basketball court and also to use the area next adjacent to the basketball court which was an old toilet that has been demolished to create and expand the car parking area. This should be able to bring a space for our young people to play and interact and also to create room for parking that will bring some income to the church. Thank you. Holy Ghost Cathedral stands on a 3.8 acres of prime land in the town center. The car park, 0.5 of an acre to be improved so that we can accommodate at least 100 cars. And at the rate of 100 shillings, the church should be able to generate an income of not less than 250,000 per month. This is a project that needs to be done uh, by improving the ground, the floor, car drop paving, and uh, also marking for proper car parking space. Thank you. Pili, kusafisha na kupaka rangi ukuta wa nje wa kanisa na mzunguko mzima wa ukuta wa kanisa. This is the main Holy Ghost Cathedral Church Hall. The building for the exterior uh, needs cleaning up. You can see a lot of uh, surfaces coloration. This needs a wash down and a proper coat of weatherproof uh, like permaplast to give it a, a, a shiny look. Thank you. Tatu, upanuzi na uboreshaji wa chochetu cha uma. Nne, ubomoaji wa jumba la shule la kushona na kulijenga upya kwa viwango vya hadhi litakalo jumuisha jumba la mikutano yani conference hall, vyumba vya wageni guest rooms na shule ya kujifunza kushona. Jumba hilo litaitwa Centenary Wing. My name is Charles Moridi and um, I'm the chairperson of the Development Ministry of the Holy Ghost Cathedral. We are inside the dressmaking um, um, house and uh, this is an old building that we also, as we look, we launch our vision, we intend to demolish it and put up a three-story building. That is, uh, we are going to call the uh, Centenary Plaza. So, this is the, 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 the old house and this is how it looks like. These are the machines. And uh, perhaps when you modernize it, it will be a beautiful house. So, karibu nyamu. Tano, ukarabati wa shule ya chekechea On behalf of the Holy Ghost Cathedral Education Committee, I'm the chairperson, Mary Ochola, and uh, the committee undertakes 
the projects on the dressmaking school, the Holy Ghost Cathedral dressmaking school and nursery school. I would like to take this opportunity to talk about the nursery school and the dressmaking school which have helped so many parishioners as well as other people outside the parish through their lives and uh, as we have taken the two schools just like any other place in the parish. So today our dressmaking school has fallen into a lot of distress but we still have time to proclaim the nursery school. As you can see the nursery school needs a lot of improvements. The work that should be undertaken, one, is for general painting of the walls. Two, we need a furniture for the young ones. We need mattresses, good mattresses for the baby class. We need to improve also the working conditions of our teachers whose uh, tables and even chairs are not up to cathedral standards. We also need playground equipment for the children as well as a new roof for the PP2 classroom. The biggest issue now is that the classrooms are not having enough light and so they need new windows, they need new doors because according to the Education Act, the doors are supposed to be opening outwards. In our case, our doors are the old system, so this needs a change. The young ones also have a feeding program in the school. As it is a place which is in the middle of town and it helps so many parents to keep their children throughout the day. We need a proper cooking area, of which we do not have as you will see later, as well as the toilets, the hand washing facilities that they have. It's only can only serve two pupils at a time. Uh, while we are having around 90 going to 100 children in the new year in tech. So these facilities, the toilets, the kitchen, the wash handling materials are not enough. So we need a helping hand through the parishioners, our parents, and any other person who can lend a hand. And my name is teacher Victoria Mutoni Moraidi. I'm a PP2 class teacher at Holy Ghost Cathedral Nursery School. Uh, more I'll talk about our school. We need decoration for the things, you innovate the school things and the classes, the floors are damages and the classes have got no windows, the windows are broken and the teachers also they need chairs to sit on. The chairs are not comfortable. More to that, the students are doing well, and we don't go so far. We are added up to more students, and next year, 2022, we hope our school will, will have more grade for the children. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Sita, mradi wa mtambo na duka la maji. Did you know that 97% of the world's water is salty and triggerable? Join me, Aurelia. Magneti, as I take you through one of the Vision 2022 income generating projects in a parish, that is Water Purification Plan. Our main objective is to be able to produce safe drinking water for use in the tax and also for commercial purpose, which will generate income for, to boost other projects in the tax. We are partnering with the Water Kiosk Company Limited, which uses winter system, a robust water desalination to produce safe drinking water. The machine uses 
solar to treat water that is the machine uses solar to treat water that is reverse osmosis instead of chlorine which is harmful to our bodies in case of uh, excess usage or under usage we look forward to working with you to sustain the project water is life Saba, kuwekeza katika mradi wa ukulima katika shamba la kanisa Vuga Kwale lenye ekari ya 40 yani 40 acres. Here we are at Tumaini Farm in Vuga Kwale. This is a 40 acre piece of land, prime and ready for development. At the moment there is nothing and uh, in order to be able to do anything we have to first of all uh, create some infrastructure a shelter and also a sanitation facility at the moment we have been able to dig a well and we have got water at 35 feet and a pit latrine the slab uh, is being constructed for the toilet and they should be ready soon we have also plans which have been made for a house which will start as soon as the toilet is completed also the improvement of the access road there are areas where we have to put some uh, culverts so that the farm can be accessed at any time thank you nane ununuzi wa vifaa vya kwaya so my name is julian joroge gachie uh, i'm the chair of uh, some committee uh, in uh, digitization and improvement of the church uh, and uh, here uh, we have uh, one of the uh, uh, donated equipment by the uh, our parish priest which is uh, uh, a great improvement because now our choir now is going to operate with new modern equipment as we continue improving our church toward a modern digitization so that it can, we can give our parishioners a good service and a good sound inside the church and our mass will be modernized uh, having a choir Uh, attained uh, uh, a new equipment which are in the budget of uh, 2021 2021 and 2022 year of budget by our government committee thank you tisa ujenzi wa nyumba za kukodi ganjoni inayojulikana kama St Vincent de Paul na kumi, ujenzi wa paa katika ukumbi wa grotto here we are at ganjoni on the plot where the old St Vincent de Paul house stood this house was condemned by the county and it have had to have it demolished the church now intends to put up a five story apartment block the designs have been done and the process is ongoing thank you uh, we are now at the grotto and part of the earmarked activity at the grotto uh, which is in a depression is putting up a roof because parishioners cannot use it when the sun is too hot and when it is raining so we'll be putting up a roof over this uh, area so that it can be used at all the times thank you <laughs> Kando na St Vincent de Paul ambao ni mradi wa muda mrefu miradi iliyosalia itagharimu takriban milioni 37 kwa awamu hii Behind me is the shrine of St Anthony and as you can see the roof is in a deplorable state we intend to overhaul the entire roof structure with the new um, trusses and a new iron sheet roofing thank you kwa majina ni bruda jackson kafasha kutoka shirika la yesu mchungaji mwema na siku ya tarehe 24 baba paroko anazindua luwaza yake hapa parokiani basi tuweze kumshika mkono ili tuweze kuona kwamba luwaza hiyo imekuwa na kufanikiwa asanteni kwa majina naitwa Francis Ngugi na walika nyote tuungane pamoja 
kuboresha kanisa letu wakati tunashirikia miaka 100 ya imani. I am Dr. Josephine Mionga Kilifi, Vice Chairperson of Planning, Marketing and Resource Mobilization. Today as our parish priest who also doubles up as the Vicar General of Archdiocese of Mombasa, Father Mongas, launches the mission for our parish, the Holy Ghost Cathedral, as we head towards the celebrations of the centenary of our parish, it's my humble appeal to all parishioners and well-wishers to embrace the vision and fully support our parish priest and the family of the Holy Ghost Cathedral, Karibuni Sana. I am David Obusimba, I'm the accountant Holy Ghost Cathedral. Today has been our vision launch for the 100 year centenary celebration for the year 2023. Let us team up and make the dreams achievable. My name is Fidelis Squedo. I'm a parishioner of the Holy Ghost Cathedral. And today our parish priest has launched the vision. I appeal to you parishioners to come and support the vision. Jina langu ni Padre Rafael Kanga, Padre Msaidizi katika Holy Ghost Cathedral hapa Mombasa na ni furaha yangu kuona kwamba Holy Ghost Cathedral tuna tumeweza kuwa na nafasi ya kujiandaa kuzindua riwaza ya miaka moja ya parokia yetu na mimi na lengo ni kwamba tuweze kuwa na mtazamo ambao sote kwa pamoja utatuelekeza pale ambapo tunataka kufikia e, labda kwa miaka mingine pia mia moja ijayo. Kwa hivyo tunapomshukuru Mungu tunapoelekea karibu zaidi na zaidi kusherekea hiyo uh, jubili yetu ya Holy Ghost Cathedral. Tunazidi kuimizana kwamba kila moja azidi kuwajibika, kujitolea na ushauri wangu kwa Wakristo ni kwamba e, kwa Kiingereza tunasema my church my responsibility kwamba kanisa langu ni jukumu langu. Kwa hivyo tujitolee kwa hali na mali na kwa njia zote kuna kwamba uh, baada ya uzinduzi wa riwaza yetu ya miaka moja kwamba sasa safari itaanza eh, kwa mwamko mpya na kwa kasi na kwamba eh, Mungu akitubariki tena kuona miaka mingine moja kanisa hili la Holy Ghost Cathedral litakuwa mbali sana. Mungu abariki kila jambo, abariki paroko wetu, abariki askofu wetu, abariki wakristo wote na jumuiya zetu basi tuendelee kutakiana kila laheri na hasa tunaposema Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Mimi kwa majina naitwa Marklin Wandera. Mtumishi wa watumishi katika miito na masingira. Naomba wakristo wenzangu tushirikiane na paroko anapozindua uwaza ya kuendeleza cathedral kwa imani kifedha na maendeleo kadhaa ya kujitegemea ili kwa manufaa yetu sisi na kisasi kijana Tumsifu Yesu Kristu kwa majina ni Isidoro Nyango mwalimu wa kwaya katika parokia yetu ya Holy Ghost Cathedral ningependa kuasii wakristu wote tuje kwa kanisa letu ili tuweze kushirikiana tumuonge paroko yetu mkono katika azimio lake la kuboresha katedrali na kusherekea miaka mia moja ya kanisa letu naomba tumshike mkono tushirikiane pamoja kama wakristo wa katedrali ili tuweze kuboresha siku hii ya leo na siku hiyo asanteni uh, my name is Jafari Kiraga I'm the treasurer of CMA Cathedral chapter we want you now to come and support our vision which will be happening on 24th of this month, 2021, from 7 p.m. Let's come as one church and support our vision and support our parish priest in launching this event. Thank you so much. Kwa majina naitua Sister Josephine Paso, na udumu katika ofisi ya parokea ya Holy Ghost Cathedral, na waimiza nyote mjunge nasi ili kuweza kufanikisha malengo ya parokea yetu na kuendeleza yale yote ambayo tumeyapanga kuyafanya kama parokia ili tunaposherekea miaka moja tangu kuanzishwa kwa parokia yetu 
tuweze kuja pamoja kushirikiana pamoja kama wana parokia na kuweza kufanikisha malengo ya parokia yetu karibuni nyote na mjisikie nyumbani jina ni Simon Mukiri kutoka parokia Holy Cross Cathedral ambapo unasimamia uh, kamati ya unjilishaji na chukua fursa hii kuwahimizeni sana na hasa wana parokia wenzangu katika parokia Cathedral kwamba tuweze kuunga mkono vision ya paroko yetu kuhusu parokia yetu ni parokia yetu jamani kwa hivyo naomba tuweze kuishika mkono ili tuweze kusonga mbele kwa pamoja wanasema you cannot walk aimlessly in life na sisi kama parokia basi tunataka tusonge mbele kabisa kimaendeleo na hatuwezi kusonga pasipo kushikamana hivyo naomba tuweze kujitokeza kwa wingi ili kumshika paroko yetu uh, vika jenu father amogastin davida ili kuhakikisha kwamba parokia yetu inasonga mbele katika vision ambayo tunailaunch uh, uh, tarehe 24 uh, saa moja hapa hapa parokiani karibuni sana na msibaki nyuma hata moja sana my name is banabas i'm a sacristan at the holy ghost cathedral we have already launched our vision kindly let us support this vision to go to successful thank you ladies and gentlemen to msifu yesu kristo now we have began our journey and a long journey is started with one step and this is the step we are made we are talking of a budget of 37 million but to me this is not about it all we need to own this budget we need to each one of us come together we need to mobilize each and every person of this cathedral so that we come together start this journey and work it together we can do it we can achieve this journey we can build our church we have done something and yet we can be able to do even bigger things this cathedral as i've always said sit on a golden gold mine and we need to exploit the natural gift that the god has given us and we can be able to attract good resources and um, make up good um, uh, financial muscles so that we can be able to call this one a cathedral that each person coming from the world over will be able to be proud of. So I welcome each one of you. I invite each one of you to come on board so that we can be able to build our cathedral that each one of you of us will be able to be proud in. Thank you and God bless you all. Hivyo Tunapunga na kushirikiana na kumsaidia baba paroko kutimiza maono haya ya parokia tuna imani kwa pamoja na kupitia uwezo wa Mungu tutafanikiwa kuafikia malengo haya Ufanisi huu utatupa fursa bora zaidi ya kushirikia miaka mia moja ya upendo wa Mungu kwa parokia hii yetu ya kwanza nchini Kenya. Tunawatakia Christmas njema na mwaka mpya wenye mafanikio. <tune> Ni